In a tut. As we are bound by laws, you are bound by wire. Yet your crime was the act of killing. So we must drive you out. Away from the Warek. From protection. From our songs. My chieftain. Coppola. Am I not your favorite fighter? Do you not recognize me from this tooth you knocked out? How many times have I pulled you from danger by your neck? Made excuses for your behavior? <sighs> you are my favorite! But the shaman is decided. While you wait for exile... Who among us would refuse a challenge from an outlander? Not I! But I did not kill him! Hush, hush. You can tell your story to the ice. Uh, uh, you took our tox mantle. Perhaps I did. If even my chieftain accepts it, it must be so. That's not the way it works for me. Wanna tell me your story? I did fight with the Karja Hunter to settle a challenge. That much is true. He was strong and damn quick. We traded punches. Good punches. Hard punches. And the next thing I remember... Gray morning light and the Karja beside me with his head broken open. But the blow was not by my hand. Isn't your Werak supposed to support you? At least give you the benefit of the doubt? When our Werak had cause to quarrel, I was a solution. To fight for its honor and win, they'd call on me. Or, when they needed someone to lose for appearances, I could do that too. Now when Outlander is murdered without honor, all eyes are on me. I have become my Werak's shame. They don't want an incident with the Karja, so you take the fall. That is what I do best. So everyone knows you started the fight with this man? Of course! For honor, I'll fight anyone. If, if I wasn't bound, I'd fight to prove myself right now! I don't think that would help you. This is what I am. Each runner in the Warwick has a gift. I brought a fall better than I can? Until this time, I was too drunk. I took one last swing as I went down, but not a killing blow. It can't have been. And for your punishment, they'll exile you from the Warwick? From warmth. March me up the slopes of the cloud shear, leave me stripped and exposed. That's awful. If I survive, the land has absolved me. That's the law. It must be accepted. It's still awful. I'm not stupid. I don't like my chances either. I can't fight a mountain. I'll be honest. You haven't got a good defense, Inatut. I've heard that one before. Where did the fight happen? A clearing, just outside the Karja Outlanders camp. You should talk to them. They wouldn't hear me out. They say no one else could have been there, other than me and the dead man. The shaman consulted the signs in the snow and agreed. I'll see what I can find out, and I'll be back. I'll be here. What else am I gonna do until the horn gives a call for my exile? myself among them.
influence at the palace. Keep thinking letting Durval leave. Sometimes you just have to sit back, take a breath, and... Huntress, what business do you have with us? I was asked to look into the murder of a Karja hunter. What happened? It's plain as day. A drunk Banuk thug picked a fight with Ruas, struck him down from behind, and stole his headdress. The accused man says that he didn't do it. You're not going to get anything useful out of the Banuk, whether they talk to you or don't. They gather up like cloaks in a chill wind every time a hunter dies out here. Won't even hand Ruas's killer over for a proper trial. A proper... Or his wits. So other Karja hunters have died in these lands before. Three, maybe four in the last few seasons. That's no surprise. This place punishes even the prepared, and many young nobles don't prepare. But usually the snow covers everything, and the bodies are never found. No thanks to the Banuk. Do you think they're involved? No. If it's not about their tribe, they don't want to get involved. In these outlands, even the sun cannot thaw all it touches. Doesn't sound like you trust the Banuk much. They're not without their reasons to keep apart from us. Ten years of reasons. Always oh, the war. The war is over. We made amends, but no. The land never forgets. Snow and ice keep memory, they say. It takes time for scars to heal. You think I don't know that? I still bear the lashes for refusing one of the Mad King's sun priests. I was your age then. Uh, times of shadow. Times of shadow. Where did you find Ruas's body? There's no hunt, girl. Nothing to pick up. Humor me. I'm a good tracker. Down the rise to the west, there's a clearing. But a grazer herd couldn't have trampled it better. And if that barbarian gives up Ruas's headdress before they cast him out, let me know. It's valuable. Can't wait to go home and go to bed. After a little bad of a brew, that is. This is it. Someone's been disturbed a lot, like the hunter said. No, oh, here's something. Lots of leaves and bark scraped off here. And someone pulled out the branch? No. From climbing it. They came through the trees. of the Karja camp, and the clearing.
Got too much already. Well, this is ominous. A dead end? Can't be. Someone covered this over. What are they trying to hide? Carja armor. This looks bad. to life. Not Banook, then she won't be missed. What's that? killing Karja. And for what? Revenge for the war? Who gets to declare that one tribe no longer hates another? I'll tell you. Not the ones who fought. Not the ones whose songs are silenced. Like my kin. For what you did, another Banuk has been sentenced to certain death. What about his song? Oh, that's why you followed us. For that punch drunk idiot in a toot. Fate is sharp today. They've already let him out to face his exile. Let's see who the cold claims first. I need to go after Inatut. But I should find some more evidence first. Newer than the rest. 
Must have belonged to Rubes. Did they keep any clothes? This Karjagir's not warm, but if Inatut's naked on a snowfield, he'll take what he gets. I'll find a use for you. Too steep. Have to find another way.
Look at this. The kind of place you'd take someone if you wanted to lose them forever. I'm not getting up that frozen waterfall. Maybe along the sides. Halfway there. space. <laughs> Frozen solid. Fixed feelings about that. <laughs> In a tit? In a tit! Maybe you found shelter? I hope you found shelter. Behind the rock. <laughs> Girl? Is it really you, or has the bone chill got through my skull? I found the real killers. No one else has to die because of this. Take these. A dead Tarsha's clothes. Haven't I been beaten down enough? But I won't argue. Where I thought I'd saw my ancestors. They said, we're surprised you ended up here. <laughs> you better hurry. <clears throat> Machines.
can't carry more. First swing at him, he challenged the honor of the Banuk. The honor. That's what I thought. Come on, let's get you back. Once I'm off the mountain, I'll find my own way. I need to think. It's not something I'm used to. Who knows what could happen? I'll see you at town then. You had better make it, all right? I give my pledge. So by the new claw, if Inatut survives, he's forgiven. But I want to prove to his chieftain that he wasn't guilty in the first place. Inatut told you the truth. This is the headdress stolen from the murdered man. Fate has fallen like snow, and should Inatut return, he will be absolved. You can't be serious. He speaks for the Werek, my Nora friends. You look ridiculous. If you would return to my Werek, you will behave as a Banuk does. How does a Banuk behave, my chieftain? Like I did? Accepting a sentence for a crime he did not commit. Or those others who killed in cold blood for crimes that their carge of victims did not. I think what I wear will not make me more or less of a Banuk. For his own sake, it would be wise for him to think less, Nora friend. I'll talk to him, but not for you. I defied my chieftain's will, spurned my Warwick. How are you feeling? As if I've been pounded the guts. I could just keep walking, but when my anger has thawed, it will leave me with nothing. Where else would I go? You are. If your exiles proved anything, it should be that. There's so much more out there, beyond your borders and laws. It won't be easy. But I know you can roll with the hits. But without a Warwick? To be a Banuk alone, what, what would I be fighting for? How about yourself, Inatut? You just did it. Huh. I am Inatut, who fights for himself. There's a good echo to it, and so many unknown mountaintops to shout it from. As for you, Nora girl, 
Will you accept this gift? A, a little scrawny weight against the great boon you gave me, but... I'm honored. Thank you, Inatent.